Okay, um, I got, okay, I got out of the shower and I was like about to blow dry my hair. I just put some product in it and I was like, you know what? I'm sick of this right now. Um, not that I'm sick of my hair. I like actually haven't been happier with my hair in a really long time. I'm loving the dark roots and everything, but I was thinking I just wanted a little change up that wasn't like permanent. So I got a hair up my ass and I was just like, you know what, we're gonna do this. So I've had these in my possession for probably over two years now. So hopefully they still are good. I don't, I don't know. This brand sent me like one and done package cause they're like, bitch, you don't color your hair anymore. We're not sending you shit. Actually, I don't know if they said that, but that's what I've made up in my mind. Cause as you know, or maybe you don't know, I used to color my hair every color under the sun. One of the main questions I get lately is, why don't you color your hair anymore? And I will explain it to you super quick, but I have extensions in my hair and when you have extensions and your natural hair and you color them, your natural hair fades totally differently than this person's hair. Like whoever grew this, thank you for letting me buy your hair, but our hair fades differently when it comes to color. So it would just kind of be a, giant mess anytime I would go to get my hair redone because the extensions wouldn't match my hair and they cut they just wash out in different like they just they just wash out differently so I am so envious of people who have like thick natural awesome hair and they get to like just color their real hair and it all fades out the same way like I'm super super jealous of that but I have very thin hair. So I have tape and extensions and I also have hand tied extensions. So what we're gonna do today, um, what we're gonna attempt to do today is gonna be something that's gonna be less noticeable when the fade comes. So I grabbed these two from Shrine. They are two uh, toners. One is a rose toner, one is a lilac toner and they kind of show you what they will look like on your hair. Um, you can kind of see another version of that here. So I would say we're somewhere like in the middle. What do you think? Yeah, or maybe the top, I don't know. It's feeling a little yellow to me right now, actually, in my vlog videos. I was like, why does my hair look so yellow? So what I'm thinking with these is to grab one little piece like this big that will get the rows and then just kind of do it random and do pieces that have the rows and some that have the um, lilac toner and just like see how it looks. I probably should just choose one toner and go for it, but I don't like to make things easy. So fuck it. So for mixing this, it comes with this tiny little bowl and then you've got the drops. So you basically put as much, and it's got like little measuring, can you see? I don't know if, you, yeah, you can see those. Um, so it makes it pretty simple. You just fill it up with whatever conditioner you want that you have. Um, when I used to color my hair a lot, I would just use the cheapest conditioner out there or I would use Arctic Mist by my brand Arctic Fox. And then you use that as your mixing medium. So this side also tells you how many drops to add, if you can see that. So I think we're gonna go with this one and do four drops and it's supposed to look like this. They are really brave telling you what your hair is supposed to look like because let me tell you what, when you tell people what your hair is supposed to, what the hair is supposed to look like and it doesn't look like this, you get angry people. Fill the bowl up to the 40 milliliter, 40 milliliter measuring line with any conditioner, add the drops. Using the drop chart, add in the rec recommended amount of drops, mix and apply. Um, develop, leave for 10 minutes to develop and rinse with water only. Apply the mixture in even sections to towel dried hair. So I might need to wet a little bit of this down again. Well, cool. Supposedly only takes 10 minutes. Let's do it. Those are adorable. I wetted my hair a little bit more. It says to do a patch test, but that's not how we do it around here. We just grip it and rip it. So we're gonna go ahead. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna take this little whisk that I got off Amazon and like, I don't know. I'm not convinced that this is gonna make my hair look like that. 
Okay, I'm going to I'm going to actually add a couple more drops. Oh. Two? Was that two? I don't even know. Here's what we got. It looks like purple shampoo basically. So I'm not, I don't know. Nick is gone right now and he has no idea what I'm doing. So he's going to come back and I'm going to have like different colored hair. Maybe. Here we go. We're going to go in with the rose drops. One, two, this isn't the easiest to drop in here. Three, four. These are kind of like gooey and gelatinous, but it might be because they're old, but five, six. But I remember um, pulling these out, like one of these looking at it when I first got it and it was kind of the same consistency. I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but. And so I've never seen a toner without um, without developer. I wanna say this is like semi-permanent hair color, just like in a more concentrated format, the drops. Okay, so here's what we have. We've got the purple and the pink. Am I worried? A little bit. This is one of my really good friends an amazing stylist who would help me get out of this situation. It, oh, what I just did. <laughs> oh well. Uh, who would help me get out of this situation if I needed help? Yes. So, okay. I'm really hoping this toner, the rose one, doesn't look orange on my hair. Cause like the last thing I want my hair to look is like orange right now. That's just not, it's just not the look we're going for. And I'm not gonna go like right up to the root because I have like dark roots. So we're not gonna, do that. Okay, I need another brush, but I think I only have one. That's gonna be an issue. I don't know. Does that look like it's gonna do much? I guess we're gonna find out. Here's the purple. I don't think the purple is going to do anything. Like, look at that. Definitely. Okay, the purple is doing a little something. I think I need to add some more drops to the purple. All right, so I see it doing something here. But we need, we need more color than that. So... Here's what we have so far. I'm like dripping hair color everywhere. I'm a little worried that the purple is just gonna fade out super fast and then I'm gonna look like I have just like blonde streaks like in my hair or like pink streaks with blonde, which wouldn't be my favorite look. So I may do mostly pink, I don't know. Here's what we've got. So far, Wet n Wild just sent me a direct message on Instagram to send me a PR package. I'm stoked. I haven't heard from them in so long. That's so awesome. Another thing I will say too is natural hair versus extensions. Sometimes like natural hair is thirstier than extensions or vice versa. And so it sucks up the color a little bit different too. So that's another little reason why I kind of just haven't been coloring my hair. It's just kind of a really big pain in the butt, but maybe some pastels are the answer. Hey Siri, text Nicholas Avril Kershaw. What do you want to say to Nicholas Avril? You better send me pictures or videos of that pig. Exclamation point. Nick's going over to one of his uh, co-workers houses and they have a pig. I wanted a pig for so long. I almost actually got one before I moved all my animals back to Tennessee, but I just I was like, I need to do the responsible thing and like settle in and get everybody situated before I like try and like bring a pig into the picture. So I didn't, but secretly I kind of wish that I did. <laughs> 
stay purple. Live your life. So I guess uh, I'll be back in about 20 minutes and we'll let you know how it goes. We are back actually like an hour later because I decided to put makeup on. I was not gonna do that today, but then I was like, you know what? I feel like the reveal of the unicorn cotton candy hair should be like just a little more magical with some eyebrows and shit. So I love how this turned out. I love that I did the two-tone. I can actually see the purple and the lilac in here. I'm super glad I did that. I will say I don't think this is gonna last very many washes, but that's okay. That's what I signed up for. That's why I wanted to do a pastel look so that I could do something different next time or maybe all pink or all lilac. This little fucker needs to grow out like so. I haven't been like bleaching my roots, so my hair hasn't been falling out. It's actually, actually so much growth happening. But anyways, what do you guys think? Do you guys, can you see the lilac in the pink? Like, what do you guys think? Um, I love <laughs> Nick came home. I don't know if I have included it in the video, but I was filming this makeup look and he came in. I don't remember exactly what he said, but <laughs> I definitely didn't even tell him or warn him that I was gonna have colored hair. So he was uh, definitely a little surprised, but he seemed to like it. Oh, is that <laughs> I got a hair up my ass. I was like, I need to color my hair right now. <laughs> nice. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever used Shrine? Would you use it again? I'm already eyeballing um, Main Addict by ColourPop. They've got, they sent me a blue and a peach. So the peach will be a little more peachy probably actually maybe it'll be like this but i actually was very pleasantly surprised that the pink maintained its pinkness i really thought with how not white my hair was that it was going to kind of go a little bit more peach or orange or coral so i'm very happy with how the pink um kept its own held its own i will say that i wish i would have done the purple just like a smidgen darker but I love the two-tone. I think it turned out great. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below on this hair transformation. What should I do next? I'm feeling like, I'm feeling good about having color in my hair. Like it feels great. I don't think I'll be doing any dark colors anytime soon, but this is a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think. Do you wanna see another hair look? Is there another hair color brand out there I should be trying? Let me know. Now that I'm a free agent, I'm like, okay, what, what are we trying? Like, let me see what's out there now. Um, yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you made it to the end of this, I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and check out my animal channel as well. Everything is linked down here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.